Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. In this video I'd like to give you guys an update on my my car plant here. So this is this lives in my van, this is a little um, viola that I planted back in autumn. I had a different plant here in the summertime, I had a jade plant, but over the winter it's too cold and frosty. It can get probably down to about minus 5 in here, maybe minus 10, depends on the temperature outside really. But basically inside the van here, there's not much... Um, protection really against the cold so it can get really cold so I had to put a hardy plant in so I put in this viola now this pot was originally uh, epoxy resin down to the, onto the dashboard but it has come loose now so I'll just turn it around so you can get a better view of how many flowers it has so you can see that vi the viola is done actually really well it sat there over the winter and it didn't do a huge amount because the light levels are incredibly low here in Scotland so it didn't really put on a lot of growth over December, January because the light was very low, the temperature was quite low as well even though the sun was coming out on some of the sunny days we did have uh, the temperature just stayed very low inside the van because there's so little energy from the sun it can't really heat up the van so it didn't really do much and then in the last uh, month or so as it came into uh, February and March the sun's got a lot stronger and it's put on loads of new flowers. It hasn't grown a lot of leaves, but it's really put on a lot of flowers recently. And it's been doing generally really well. I'm, I'm really happy with how compact it's stayed, but also how many flowers it's got. Because sometimes viola can get a little bit leggy. I think the reason this hasn't become leggy is because it's got really good light levels. It's right out here on, on the dash, dashboard. You can see it gets plenty of sunlight. I don't normally plant it, uh, I don't normally park in front of this wall. So it's normally direct sun all day long. And when I'm driving around, it's often in, in a sunny position anyway. So it gets plenty of sunlight. Also, it's really cold in here. It only warms up when briefly when the sun's on it. it might get up to 10, 15 degrees in winter. Um, but it's been, been really cold at night, and that helps it stop from getting too leggy. And it does have a few issues. Um, there was quite a few aphids. There's still some aphids on it, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. I hope the aphids don't get too much worse, because that could kill the plant. It's certainly weakening it at the moment. But I did find a ladybird about a month ago, and I put that on the plant to eat some of the aphids. That seems to have helped. Now, I'm not sure if the ladybird is still here. I haven't been able to see it. It might be hiding somewhere inside this pot or on, underneath these leaves, or perhaps it's gone somewhere else in the van. I'm not sure. But if I find any more ladybirds, I'll probably put them on here again, because the aphids do seem to be coming back. There's just one or two aphids still on there. I'd like to clear that up completely. And at the end of this video, I am going to put a, a, a short video of some macro shots of video that I got of the of the ladybird just wandering around the plant and having a look for the aphids. So the only other problem this has had is um, it has dried out a couple of times. It wasn't a big issue. I managed to catch it before it got too dried out. So that's probably stressed it a bit, but hasn't caused too much of an issue. It also was frozen completely solid. Um, but that's not a problem for violas because they perk up absolutely fine. It looked really wilted and dead when it was frozen solid, but it just put it back up, no problem. And the only big problem at the moment is uh, nutrient deficiency. So you can see a lot of these leaves are kind of purple on the edges. Some of them are going yellowy, purple, lower down ones. This does look mostly like it's a phosphorus problem. If it was nitrogen, you'd have the lowest leaves falling off and going yellow, but there wouldn't be any of these purpley markings on them. So it does appear to be phosphorus, so I'm going to give it a feed today. That's, it is a balanced feed, but it's slightly higher in phosphorus, so that should hopefully deal with any problems it's having from that. It's also quite high in potassium, which will be good because it's flowering lots at the moment, so it needs plenty of energy to go into the flowers. It needs lots of potassium, because potassium is mainly what the flowers need for, for growing well. So as I say, it did come off from its epoxy resin. It's not a problem, it doesn't move around at all at the moment because the epoxy resin, you can see it kind of hooks over that ridge quite nicely. So the only movement I might get is a little bit of forward and backwards if I do any heavy braking. I did do an emergency stop the other day because somebody pulled out in front of me and this seemed to stay completely still, so that was good. But when it comes to putting my jade plant back in it, the jade plant is very top heavy. So I'm gonna to have to reattach this somehow. Somebody a few months back when I first did the jade plant did mention Velcro, which had sticky bits on it, so you could stick it on. So I might get that, I might get Velcro and uh, stick a piece onto the dashboard, stick a piece onto the bottom of this, and then that's to secure it quite well. But for now, it's absolutely fine. I'll probably do that as I say when I get the jade plant, because the jade plant will be top heavy, and we'll need that extra stability. But for now, the viola is doing absolutely fine. The wire is still in place to hold it in, um, but it doesn't actually need it anymore. It has rooted in quite well. But I'm really happy with how many flowers it's got. It's actually flowering a bit better than I expected it to, so I'm really happy with how it's looking. It'll be interesting to see how long it flowers for. 
it's going to start getting quite hot in this van soon. It's now the, the end of March. Coming into April, we're going to get some quite hot sunshine. Even though the weather doesn't get that hot here in Scotland in April, the sun can get quite strong. And if this is in a sealed van with the sun beaming on it, it could get quite hot. So it'll be interesting to see how long this continues going for. Violas really don't like hot weather. Normally they do well in spring and they do well in autumn. But as soon as it starts getting hot in summer, it's too much for them. So I'm going to replace this again with the jade plant. I've got the jade plant inside ready to go out as soon as the weather gets warmer. Basically I'm waiting for the last frost to be finished. As soon as the frost damage, the risk of frost damage is gone, I'll put the jade plant back in here. Or when this is starting to suffer from the heat. So the jade plant, it can take a touch of frost, so it might be okay late April, early May to put it out. We can still get frosts in late May, even the beginning of June. But those frosts will be very light and so it shouldn't be a problem for the jade plant. So that's about it for this update. As I say, I'll put some, um, some feed on it. I'll give it a liquid feed. Hopefully that'll sort out some of these issues here. I've not had to deadhead it yet, which is quite surprising. I think that might actually be because there's no pollinating insects in here. Because normally I have to deadhead violas and pansies all the time. Um, but there's not been any deadheading yet. And I think that's one of the advantages of growing it here in the car. Is the, the flowers aren't being pollinated. Because they're not pollinated, I don't have to deadhead them. So I will have to deadhead these original, uh, eventually, but it's just taking a lot longer than, it would, longer than it would normally if they're being pollinated in the wild. So that's all for this update, and as I say, I'll give you guys an, another update um, probably in a, in a month or so's time when this is probably going over, and uh, I'll be probably getting my jade plant ready. But if not, hopefully this will be uh, going on really well in the end of April into May.